Coming up on Retiring Well with Michael Reese. Recognizing where we are in markets, recognizing what markets are doing, and how that would impact you. In the last 20 years, markets have lost half their value twice. Do you think somewhere in the next 10 years, could markets lose half their value again? You've been in that growth and accumulation. What about transitioning to more preservation and income, where, where we're trying to maintain that balance, but then generate an income? Retiring Well with Michael Reese, helping you make smart decisions with your money so you can live a better life. Today is the day you can take back control of your money. Retiring Well with Michael Reese, where we believe your best is yet to come. Welcome to Retiring Well. I'm your host, Michael Reese, and this week, we're going to talk about something that we refer to in our offices as the advisor playbook. Yes, the advisor playbook. So what is that? That sounds pretty interesting, doesn't it? Well, at least it does to me. I don't know if it does to you, but here's what I want you to think about. Think about this. Have you ever watched a football game or maybe a basketball game? I know you have, right? We all have. And Here's what happens in a football or a basketball game. And it, now I'll use football as my example because you know, I just love football. And what happens is you start the game, the team, each team starts the game, and they have, um, they have their playbooks, they have their plays figured out, they have a strategy mapped out as to how they feel they have the best chance of winning the game. Right? So they go into the beginning of the game with a strategy designed to, you know, to win the game. That's what they're trying to do. Well, off goes the first quarter and, you know, certain things happen. Some things work, some things don't. The second quarter, some things work, some things don't. And then they get to halftime, right? They get to halftime. Well, here's what happens at halftime. You know what happens. You know, they go in the locker room and then they strategize again because they're going to make their second half adjustments. In other words, what they're doing is they're looking at what actually occurred and they, and they say, okay, some things are working, some things aren't working. We need to adjust what we do in the second half in order to have the highest probability of winning the game. If they're ahead going into halftime, they make their adjustments. If they're behind, if they're tied, it doesn't matter. They're always making adjustments, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? You, you've seen this happen. They talk about it all the time on the air. All right, now, how does that apply to what we call the advisor's playbook? How does that apply to your retirement planning? Well, Let's think about, you know, this new, uh, this new uh, century that we're in from 2000. Think about from 2000 how markets have changed in a lot of ways, right? The stock market, it's, it's up right now. It's doing great right now, at least as I'm recording this. But, you know, in the last 20 years, from 2000 to 2017, there's been twice, two times, that the market has lost over half, over 50% of its value. Over twice that's happened. Hey, it's good now, but it's not always good. You know, what about interest rates? Gosh, back in 2000 when we started, you could get 10-year government bonds paying like, what, 5 6%. What do you get today? Two. Interest rates down, 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 down. Right? So, so part, some things have worked, some things haven't worked, but isn't it fair to say that things have changed over that 17 year period that we've had in this new century, things have changed, haven't they? Well, here's my question. Do you hold essentially the same portfolio today that you held several years ago? Well, wait a minute, what, why aren't you making those halftime adjustments? Why aren't you doing that? Why aren't you, with your retirement planning, saying, okay, well, what's working, what's not working, and why aren't you making those adjustments? Or here's a better question. Better question. If you have a financial advisor, why aren't they making adjustments? Now, they may be telling you, yeah, we're making these adjustments, but let me ask you something. Does your, do the accounts and your statements, are they basically the same stuff that you've had for the past five, 10 years? Is it basically the same stuff? If so, what kinds of adjustments are really going on here? 
I mean, the reality is this. You need to understand that markets have changed. Your portfolio needs to change to reflect that. Here's another adjustment for you. What if you're almost retired? What if you just retired? That's retirement, holy cow. Now, that is a big time half time. You got a second half of life here and things are gonna be different. You need to make some changes, pretty significant changes probably. Have you made those changes yet? Is your advisor talking to you about it? Okay, very important time in your life. You want your money to last, markets are changing. Let's make sure, and we're gonna talk about this today, let's make sure that you're making the right choices for your retirement. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. What is your vision of a successful retirement? And how can you make your dream a reality? Centennial Wealth Advisory, financial advisors specializing in retirement planning in Traverse City, Petoskey, and Gaylord invite you to an eye-opening and exciting event packed with up-to-date, valuable, and important information. Join us for a free presentation with complimentary gourmet dinner and learn about how the new tax reform affects your retirement, lifetime income strategies, managing your investment risk, not just hoping for returns, avoiding financial health care challenges, legacy planning, and much more. Tuesday, January 16th, or Thursday, January 25th at Boone's Long Lake Inn in Traverse City, or Wednesday, January 17th at the Boyne Mountain Resort in Boyne Falls. Presentations start at 6 p.m. and are free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow. But seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 or visit sen-wealth.com to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important presentation, making your retirement vision a reality. Call 888-608-5825 today. Hi, I'm sitting here with Larry Flynn. Thanks for being here, Larry. Thank you, Mike. He's one of the advisors at Centennial Wealth Advisory. And, and folks, uh, as you may know by now, we certainly invite you to come visit with us. It's absolutely free to get a second opinion on your retirement planning. And I think it's important to get a second opinion from someone who's a specialist when it comes to retirement planning. And Larry, I'm sure they're wondering, you know, if they pick up the phone and they call and come visit with you, what kind of a, what can they expect? What's that experience like? Well, Mike, they can expect not to get hard sold. Okay, we're going to greet them warmly. Um, we're going to sit down and talk to them a little bit about their maybe their story. You know, where they're from, where they grew up, how they met their spouse. You know, what they're dreaming of doing once they get soon to be retired or retired. Kind of what are their goals, right? Yeah, what are your goals? Um, we're going to talk to them a little bit about who we are what we do, show them how we do things, especially dealing in the market realities we find ourselves in today. Got it, so essentially, they're coming in, you're learning a little bit about what's important to them, what their goals are, what they're trying to accomplish. I'm sure you're taking a look at what they're doing so far. You maybe share a little bit about you, and it's, it's just in a very relaxed atmosphere. That's right. Uh, and, and there's no cost to do this, is that correct? No cost, no cost. All right, so folks, there you go. I mean, it sounds very simple, very easy, very laid back. Uh, there's no reason for you not to just pick up the phone, call the number on the screen, come visit us, Get that second opinion. You'd be glad that you did. This week in Chalk Talk, we are taking a look at, believe it or not, this is the stock market history. I know my, my artistic capabilities aren't perfect, but I think you're going to get the gist of this. And we're also thinking about you know, how are we doing as advisors and how are you doing with your retirement planning, recognizing where we are in markets, recognizing what markets are doing and how that would impact you when it comes time to creating a consistent and sustainable retirement income and making sure your money lasts as long as you do. So as you know, we've been talking about you want to make sure that you are making adjustments as times are appropriate. So let's take a look and see what I've drawn here and what I'm trying to uh, illustrate. Uh, what we have here is the stock market in the U.S. And, you know, maybe from, say, 1960 to maybe 1980 here, somewhere in there, um, we had markets that were essentially just going up and down. So 
you know, it was you know, generally trending up, right? So it was generally trying to go up there, but it was mostly just up and down uh, and with a little bit of an upward trend. That is, historically speaking, that's a very normal market environment. We see this kind of thing happening all the time. Well, then what happened? Well, what happened right here is that the greatest generation, the biggest generation, they call them baby boomers, right? You know what I'm talking about. These baby boomers started to retire. They start, or I'm sorry, start, not started to retire, start to invest for their retirement, rather. They start putting money in 401k plans like crazy, like crazy. And as they're just dive bombing all kinds of dollars into the markets, of course, the price goes up and up, right? And what do we see? Woo! We see this huge run up in markets from 1980 to about, what is this, 2000, somewhere in there? We had a 20-year bull run. I did the math one day. Do you know that for this 20-year period that the stock market was up on average 14% per year? I mean, whoo, holy cow. And a lot of it was because these baby boomers were just pouring billions and billions and billions of dollars into their retirement savings, and all that did was drive prices up, up, and up, which was great. That was fantastic. Well, then what happened? Well, right around 2000, I mean, a lot of things happened, but think about this. A lot of those baby boomers started doing what? You know what they started doing? They started retiring, right? They started retiring. Instead of putting money in, they started taking money out. And what happened is we reached a new equilibrium level where, you know, back here in the 60s and 80s, there's, a, you know, the money going in, the money coming out, there was some kind of equilibrium. But in this period, man, it was all pouring in. Way more money going in the system, not very much coming out. But once we hit around 2000, suddenly money started coming out. Well, when money starts coming out, we saw what happened to markets. They crashed, then they went back up again, they crashed, now they've gone back up again. But you know what we're seeing at the end of the day? Aren't we kind of seeing this again? Except it's, it's bigger, isn't it? Well, that's because the numbers are bigger. You know, the, instead of, you know, the numbers are smaller back here, but it's the same pattern is going on, this same up and down. And in the financial industry, uh, we would refer to this as something called the new normal, meaning, you know, this is how markets were. This was normal. This was not normal. Now we're kind of back to normal again. Well, here's my question for you, and this is the challenge that we have. Almost all of investment planning that's going on today, even today, is built upon the assumptions that were created when markets had this 20 year bull run. And that is that markets just keep going up. But they don't, they go both up and down. And your planning needs to reflect that reality that markets are gonna go both up and down. Unfortunately, most planning does not reflect that. So make sure you're aware, you know, what happens to your portfolio next time markets crash, because it will affect your retirement. What is your vision of a successful retirement? And how can you make your dream a reality? Centennial Wealth Advisory, financial advisors specializing in retirement planning in Traverse City, Petoskey, and Gaylord invite you to an eye-opening and exciting event packed with up-to-date, valuable, and important information. Join us for a free presentation with complimentary gourmet dinner and learn about how the new tax reform affects your retirement, lifetime income strategies, managing your investment risk, not just hoping for returns, avoiding financial health care challenges, legacy planning, and much more. Tuesday, January 16th, or Thursday, January 25th at Boone's Long Lake Inn in Traverse City, or Wednesday, January 17th at the Boyne Mountain Resort in Boyne Falls. Presentations start at 6 p.m. and are free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow. But seating is limited and fills quickly. 
Call 888-608-5825 or visit sen-wealth.com to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important presentation, making your retirement vision a reality. Call 888-608-5825 today. You don't walk into a doctor's office for some blanket prescription for whatever ails you. You expect individualized attention, a doctor who listens, and a treatment prescribed to meet your specific need. When it comes to your financial future, why expect anything less? If you would like an independent checkup from an independent advisor with access to hundreds of possible solutions to help you meet your goals, contact us today. Welcome back. This week we're talking about the advisor playbook and you know, we've been talking about, you just saw how markets have changed over time dramatically. How is your, cha- your planning changing with that? And what I want to do in this segment is just kind of give you a, a real world example of how things have changed over the years and, and why it's important to you, what it means to you in your planning. Okay, that's what we really want to focus on. What does it mean to you? So back when I was uh, started in this industry, it was the mid 90s and, and how, did, how did people plan in the mid 90s and, and maybe even into the early 2000s? Well, here's what you would do. If you were focused on growth, let's say that you were working and you're trying to uh, build your portfolio so that someday you would be able to retire, right? So let's say that's where you were. Um, what you would do is you just buy stock mutual funds, right? That's what you do. You basically build a portfolio. You'd have some, you know, some U.S. stocks and international stocks, maybe some large companies and small companies, you'd, some kind of diversified stock or equity portfolio. Equity is the word that we use in the industry if we want to sound smart, but it's just stocks, right? So then what would you do? Well, uh, oh good, you grew the money, you've got enough money to retire, now it's time to retire, and now what would you do? You would say, okay, time to sell those stocks, and, or at least a big chunk of them, and then go out and buy fixed income. Again, another phrase that we use in the financial industry when we want, when we want to sound smart, fixed income sounds smart, it's really just bonds, right? Basically things that pay you interest. And the idea is that, um, you know, and, and it worked great because interest rates were paying you five, six percent. You could go out and get bonds paying you five or six percent per year. So you'd say, oh, let's take a chunk of money, put it in something like that, and boom, we're all set with our income, right? And it worked absolutely fabulously well. Everything was hunky-dory, it was cool. And quite frankly, it was pretty easy. Well, have things changed? <laughs> have things changed? Well, let's, let's look at this. Uh, markets are doing pretty well right now, but again, hindsight's 2020, right? We, we know with hindsight what we should have done, could have done, and you know, we've seen markets lose half their value twice. So. Here's what's gonna happen, here's what I can tell you. Sometime in the next 10 years, I mean, if you're retiring today, you're probably gonna live 20, 30 years. Sometime in the next 10 years, do you think markets are gonna have some good times? Do you think there'll be good times in markets? Sure, probably. Do you think there might also be some bad times? You know, in the last 20 years, markets have lost half their value twice. Do you think somewhere in the next 10 years, could markets lose half their value again? Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now, you better plan on it. Hey, I hope it doesn't happen. I hope that doesn't happen. But boy, oh boy, you better plan on it, don't you think? I mean, don't you think it'd be smart? Well, what about interest rates? Yeah, back back when when I started, you could get six, 7% interest rates on 10-year bonds. What about today? Two. Do you think that maybe you need to use some different tools today to generate income? I mean, think about what you're facing today. You're trying to create a retirement where you create predictable and sustainable income. You need to structure your portfolio so it lasts as long as you do. You want to protect the principal, take your income, and grow it a bit over time. That's a big job. And you're doing it in an environment where interest rates are really, really low and and stocks are more volatile than they've ever been. Is your advisor just having you use the same old tools that you've always used? What adjustments 
are being used there? What different tools are being added to the portfolio? What does your advisor have in his or her playbook? What tools are they bringing to you to the table that are different that say, look, we live in a different world, a different environment. We need these different tools to help you address your needs. What's going on there? Or is your advisor just giving you the same old, same old? Ah, you still need these stock funds or these bond funds. That's about all you're dealing with. Okay, here's the deal, folks. If your advisor is not bringing you new tools, new strategies, right? Halftime, making new adjustments. If they're not doing that, you got to ask yourself a question. To what degree is that advisor really going to help you make it through retirement comfortably and securely? I mean, that's a serious question you got to ask. And maybe, maybe it's a good idea to give us a shout. Come visit to get a second opinion on how maybe you could do it potentially better. What is your vision of a successful retirement? And how can you make your dream a reality? Centennial Wealth Advisory, financial advisors specializing in retirement planning in Traverse City, Petoskey, and Gaylord invite you to an eye-opening and exciting event packed with up-to-date, valuable, and important information. Join us for a free presentation with complimentary gourmet dinner and learn about how the new tax reform affects your retirement, lifetime income strategies, managing your investment risk, not just hoping for returns, avoiding financial health care challenges, legacy planning, and much more. Tuesday, January 16th, or Thursday, January 25th at Boone's Long Lake Inn in Traverse City, or Wednesday, January 17th at the Boyne Mountain Resort in Boyne Falls. Presentations start at 6 p.m. and are free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow. But seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 or visit sen-wealth.com to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important presentation, making your retirement vision a reality. Call 888-608-5825 today. Your grandchildren are precious to you. They are your life. This is your time to have that special relationship. Taking care of yourself is taking care of them. Centennial Wealth Advisory is offering a free, no-obligation retirement review to make sure you don't run out of money during your retirement. Centennial Wealth Advisory. Your best is yet to come. Welcome back, folks. I'm sitting here with John Torbett, one of the financial advisors at Centennial Wealth Advisory. John, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me, Mike. So as you know, this week we've been talking about you know, what we like to call the advisor's playbook, but it's really all about recognizing that market conditions change and helping our clients change their retirement planning to reflect what's happening in markets. Exactly. Right? And and you know, we've been talking all day about or on the show today about how often that doesn't happen in the financial industry. It's kind of like the same old, same old. And I was hoping that you could maybe share a story where you've come across, you know, something of that nature. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking of a, a gentleman named David who came to us just a few months ago and he's 60 years old looking to retire at the end of this year. Okay. And so he's been working sort of somewhat on his own self-managing the 401k but also has an advisor downstate uh, where he currently works and, and he's getting to that stage where he's sort of recognizing, I think I need to do something a bit different here, Mike. Because <laughs> he's recognizing, okay, retirement's coming up here in just, just a few months and so what do I need to do different with that? Right, so, because retirement is a different world than when you're working, right? Exactly, and, and so he sort of, we sort of talk about like halftime, you know, we're looking at this sort of halftime. Okay, he's gotten through this growth and accumulation phase of his life because he's been pretty aggressive with his investments, especially as of late, and he's recognizing, I don't want to take a major step backwards now with that money. He's grown it to about a million dollars at this point, and he doesn't want to, doesn't want to risk that because he's going to need to generate some income. So we're, okay. we're having a conversation where we're saying, okay, well, 
you've been in that growth and accumulation, what about transitioning to more preservation and income, where, where we're trying to maintain that balance but then generate an income? Sure. And so that's sort of where the discussion went. Got it. Now, is, does his current advisor have any thoughts on any of this? There hasn't been much there because they're still in the in the aggressive mode uh, where they're still feeling like hey there there's plenty of room in this bull market and so they're still only focused primarily on the investment side okay. whereas our conversation with with David was more focused on okay what if we want to start generating an income stream say in the four to five percent range what's that gonna look like and then when we show him hey if markets don't cooperate like a 2008 or back to 2000 through 2002 and markets drop in half all of a sudden now that four or five percent withdrawal is eight to ten percent. And or, or said another way, if half the money's gone, so does half of his income sure. go away, right? That's, that's or go back to work. And and that's not something anybody wants to do. He's hear not super retirement. excited about that. No, huh? he didn't he didn't accept that. <laughs> <laughs> now this is and by the way, folks, this is something I I'm guessing you get a lot, right? Where somebody is getting closer to retirement. Mm -hmm. They're, they recognize that their goals are starting to change. Right. And I would almost argue that, you know, a few months before retirement, folks, you really should be changing your goals a bit sooner than exactly. that. Would that be? Uh, yeah, when we had the conversation, he sort of is like, well, maybe I should have talked to you several years ago. And, and yeah, yeah, that, that would have been but, helpful. But still, if you, I mean, if you think about it, you've got the advisor down there. All their, are they focused on the goals of, hey, I'm going to retire and take income? No. They're saying, forget that, we're just trying to do the same old, same old, and that's try to make a bunch of money. Exactly. Right? Even though that the guy's made his money, he's more concerned about protecting now than he is about making another million, if you will. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's more concerned about, okay, I, I've done, done well saving for, for the past 40 years. Now it's a matter of I want to protect that and then generate an income from this. And so it, it's looking ahead now of, what are the strategies that we should put in place to accomplish those goals? Right, and now, do you find, uh, it sounds to me the way you describe him as though he's essentially saying to you, look, John, I'm, I've reached the point in life where if I lose half my money, that's a problem, that changes right. my lifestyle. But if I double my money, it doesn't really change my lifestyle, I just have more money. Right, exactly. So, so maybe an extra vacation, but that's about it. They don't wanna they don't wanna lose half and ultimately have the conversation of okay, you need right. to go back to work. Nobody wants that. So what he needs to do is exactly what we talked about on the show. Assess where he's at and make those changes, do those updates like a coach might make at halftime. Exactly. Right? Yep. Hey, that's great information. John, thank you so much for joining us today. Folks, we've kind of reached the end of the show. We appreciate you watching. Uh, again, are you at that stage of life? Are you getting close to retirement? Are you already retired? Maybe it's a good idea to get that second opinion. Just pick up the phone, call the number on the screen. The guys would love to talk to you. Uh, really appreciate you watching this week. That's our show. Enjoy your weekend.